Let's go to Las Vegas and check in with Josh Pacheco. Hi, Josh. Hey, Chris. Uh, good morning. John Venaris here, and Gloria Navarez, the commissioner of the Mountain West Conference, is joining us as well. We were just talking. This is your first one. Congratulations. And you've got all the newsworthy stuff. Now you can get, just kind of breathe it all in and take it all in after the hard stuff with the interview yesterday. Yes. And, you know, we're here to talk about football, and it's refreshing <laughs> that we can actually focus on the upcoming season. Absolutely. Um, as you look at the format, I mean, one of the things you talked about yesterday, uh, the format going without division, certainly the preparation for the expanded college football playoff in 2025 goes a lot into that. And, and we've also been talking throughout these media days, the competition for that that top spot, I think, is, has gotten even better here uh, here this year. The, the talent in the conference is, is improving. Absolutely. And, you know, this year it's going to be for those top six New Year's Eve games, and then next year in this and at playoff of the 10 FBS leagues, we are firmly looking at expectation, goals, hopes, and dreams, getting that in that top six. With your uh, taking over the Mountain West Conference, just can you give me your thoughts on, on the state of the conference when you decided that, yes, this was a go for me? Just what you thought the overall planes look like for the Mountain West Conference? Well, you know, your first interaction whenever you go into jobs like these is usually with the board of directors and the presidents in the league. And I was so impressed. You know, we have the most diverse board of directors in Division One, both in race and gender. And not only that, we have so many presidents who understand what athletics can be to an institution. It's the front porch. It is the, you know, megaphone of all the great things happening on campus. So I was really, really excited in meeting all of our presidents and our board. And then, you know, the conference office built by Craig Thompson and Deputy Brett Gilliland is absolutely you know, I shouldn't make car analogies because I don't know anything about cars, it. but ahead, it is it. like I inherited a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just my job to take it out really fast on a bunch of new highways. <laughs> That's good. Hopefully you mean the SUV Porsche and not the one that you have to Porsche. squeeze yourself into. <laughs> Por- see, see, this is why I shouldn't make car analogies. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so I, I immediately made you pay for it. I, I, I want to know um, just what your thoughts of, of, of the University of Hawaii uh, uh, is and and how they fit into the Mountain West Conference. Your thoughts on on just how important Hawaii is for you. And be careful, Craig's walking by. There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we love Hawaii. <laughs> Hi, Craig. Anyway, we just actually had our board meetings this past summer in Honolulu. You know, certainly that was not an awful trip, <laughs> and um, it was really great to see everyone to walk through the campus, see you know, hear about the plans for the facility. Um, but I really just think Hawaii fits with us, right? We're big state schools where a lot of places in our footprint were the only show in town. And we have these really avid fan bases. But also, we are gritty in the Mountain West. We're not silver spoons. We are first generation, first opportunity, you know, working our way, making more with less. And I just think this blue-collar work ethic that it kind of encompasses our league is a lot of what Hawaii is about. We're talking with Gloria Navarez, Commissioner of the Mountain West Conference, joining us here from Mountain West Media Days. Gary Dickman in Honolulu's got a few for you. Yeah, thanks, Gloria. And I was wondering, you know, with the University of Hawaii, this topic comes up on our show with a lot of the Hawaii fans. Football, of course, is a member in the Mountain West, but not the other sports. Has mm-hmm. there ever been or do you think there ever will be any consideration about wanting or inviting Hawaii to play all their sports in the Mountain West? You know, people have asked me throughout the last couple of days what I think the future membership looks like. And, you know, I keep telling folks, back in the day, membership, you talked about that once every 10 years. Now you talk about uh-huh. it once every minute, once every hour. And, you know, who knows what the future holds as far as uh, membership and conference realignment. But um, that, who knows is my yeah, <laughs> yeah. answer to that. Have we talked about it recently? No. Um, but. You never know. Let okay. me let me ask you this real quick. I, I'm curious to know what the thoughts are from from the board, from the actual uh, from from you about Hawaii's stadium dilemma. Uh, I, I know that you must know the history of it, but then just your thoughts on how much leeway do you give the University of Hawaii with its current situation? Well, you know, <clears throat> I know President Lasner, pre- private previous AD Maitland. Um, I'm going to miss working with him. Craig's great. But then David just was, you know, such a special individual uh, is. And I know that they were wholly committed to trying to get the stadium 
issue back online. I know there's a lot of politics. I'm not aware of what they all are. But from our perspective, it's really important to have that forum on which to showcase our one of our premier sports. I got one more for you from Gary. Go ahead, Gary. Yeah, and I'm sure you're glad that the San Diego State situation has been rectified and they're going to be a member in good standing. But I'm curious, two years from now, the Pac-12 does have some kind of a TV or streaming deal. Do you think there's a lot of thoughts on San Diego's part where they'll leave at the first opportunity to get more money? Well, I wouldn't even just um, focus in on San Diego State. It would be any school. And what I've said throughout this is, and I've told our presidents and ADs, I said, look, I am not going to mount a campaign to keep you from doing what's best for your school. That's your job, president. That's your job, AD. My job is, and the board is to do what's best for the conference. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, those objectives align. When they don't, we have policies that protect the league, mm -hmm. right? They're not intended to be full stop preventative from keeping schools from going they are intended though to give us a financial backdrop in order to backfill with schools or right size media contracts if we take a hit there and you know that's who we are look what we did for tcu look what we did for utah san diego state certainly didn't come in at the top of our league we provide a shot in the arm both in resources and exposure that if schools invest they sky's the limit yeah. Gloria, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us, and I know we'll be keeping in touch throughout the year. Thank you so much for having me and for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Gloria Navarez.